Google Fi hired us and then fired us and then hired us and then fired <laughs> us. It's complicated, our relationship with Google Fi. We're going to tell you how to get back on Google Fi if you've been fired. And maybe you don't want to get back on Google Fi. Or maybe or you want to stay on Google Fi. Or maybe you want to stay on Google Fi. We're going to talk through our history, what's happened, and give you some tips and tricks to have a successful or unsuccessful relationship with Google Fi. Stay tuned. Where are we? We are still on a cruise, as you can see, the cruise behind us. We're almost in Australia, and we're really excited. We're ready. So why are we talking about Google Fi again? If you, you know, we used to be huge Google Fi customers, and now, well, we're going to tell you about it. So why, why yeah, are we even this in This is a little bit, bit about my story yeah. now, because I have been a Google Fi customer again for about the past three months. So three months ago, or five months ago, we got to the United States. And I was having issues with my phone and I um, signed up again with Google Fi because I got a great discount uh, on a phone. And we'll give you all of those details, but maybe let's go back in history and tell you how we got to this point. Just a little bit. So we have been traveling the world full time now for almost three years. And when we left in August of 2021, we were Google Fi customers, and we had been Google Fi customers for a very long time. We had been around the world uh, at least once. We had used the phones in China, Hong Kong, all over Southeast Asia, Canada, Mexico, South America, Central America, French Polynesia. We had been to all these places very successfully with Google Fi, loved it, loved that you could land, turn on your phone, it would work, there was no problems. Uh, Love that we could use it in China. Didn't have any any blocking of our famous favorite apps in China. It was fabulous. Then when we decided to actually leave the U.S., so we left in August of 21, and we went to Europe. Phones working fine, and we started hearing these rumors <laughs> that Google Fi would would cut us off after six months. This is right. a couple of years ago. I think right. the rumor now, or I didn't, well, the truth is, I didn't months. believe it. I'm like, why yeah. would they? We're, why? we're make such sense. good customers. Why yeah. would they cut us off? Yeah. So we were coming back to the States for a day in this, we were like five months and five days or something out of the country. And we came back into the States for a day, part okay. of a strategy of re, re-timing our Google Fi. Yeah. So we thought if yeah, we came we back to the States for a day, the clock would start all over. So mm, not so much. So we get down <laughs> to Mexico and a month later, which was almost six months to the day that we had left originally, we got cut off from Google Fi. Now, what exactly does that mean? Like, there's a there's their phone number and whatever. Yeah, well, that? you know, so you you've got your phone, and that's that's not affected. You can still get phone calls. What it is is the data. Right. So you can do calls, you can do texts, but your data plan is cut off. So you can't, you know, use right. your phone. You can't. I think Americans um, don't really understand that if they're with Verizon or AT and T or all the or Google Fi that they have a phone number and a data plan, and together it's a certain price. Well, when you get cut off from Google Fi, you still can use your phone number, but you don't have a data plan anymore, right, right. the international data plan. Right. And so the, the phone number costs like, I don't know, 15 or 20 bucks a month. And so we get this notice in Mexico that you get, that we're cut off from Google Fi and we're like, ah! like <laughs> we can't live without data. So what we ended up doing, we have videos, um, you can watch our video for how to use your phone anywhere in the world. What we ended up doing was Parking our phone numbers at Google Voice, which is another right. product from Google, for free. Right. And then, um, basically, we then signed up with FlexiRoam. And we like FlexiRoam over Airola, because Airolo, A-I-R-A-L-O, is because FlexiRoam's data doesn't expire like Aero's, Aerolo's data plan does. Anyway, watch the video and get more details, details about that. So, we then all set yeah. up with our phones. Yeah. Fast forward, we're coming back to the States, and Steve's... Phone right, at the right. time, so we I, had a Samsung something the other. Yeah, day. I had a Samsung S20, and my my phone was just giving me a lot of problems. The battery was dying; it just it wasn't connecting properly. I would have problems with GPS. A lot of little issues that I was like, I was like, you know what? I've had this phone for a few years. I'm ready to, to get a new phone. So I start shopping, and what I what I was like focused on were the Pixel phones, particularly the Pixel Seven Pro. Great phone, love it. If you want to, you know, uh, any great recommendation photos, for great a phone, record, yeah. the, the photos are fantastic. The zoom is amazing. The video is amazing. The size, the clarity connects fast. Battery life is great. Anyways, 
And, oh, you can make phone calls with it. <laughs> this isn't a Pixel commercial. I know. But... <laughs> I know. I found out that you could sign up with Google Fi and get $350 off That's a lot of money. instantly. Yes. Yeah, the phone was like $900 or something, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, $350 off instantly. Since I'm a new, the, it would well, before so I was thinking, on Chris's yeah, plan. Yeah. yeah. Now so, I'm on my own plan. Well, maybe I'll, the international data isn't going to be. Yeah, so I was, I was primary before, and he was a secondary line on the, on the original plan that we had. So he thought he was going to beat the system Anyways. by coming in as a new user. But the problem is Google, you use the same, the same phone number or the same, same email address. We're not sure right. which trigger the algorithm, but either way. So I sign up, sign up for Google Fi, get the new phone, get everything connected. The first thing that comes up on the screen when you log into Google Fi says, your international plan has been suspended. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh, no. And I'm like, okay, but, but I'm in the U.S. And that's the reason I got this phone is we're going to be in the U.S. And I have 120 days. That's so all you, I need So you work. could use the data plan in so the U.S. It, yeah, in the U.S. Is so not you had your phone number back on. So you moved your phone number from voice back to Fi, right? Right. And then you were using data Fi's uh, Data plan, a Google Fi's data plan in the U.S. Looks great. No problem. Yes. So and then we went to Greenland. Wait. wait so oh. there's what? <laughs> what there's was more. That? So I called. I called Google oh, Fi yeah. and I said, I said, wait a second. I'm back in the U.S. and it's not me. Before it was her plan. Now it's my plan. Blah blah. blah. They said we have no control over that. It is all automated. It is totally the algorithm. We don't know how it works. They said. <laughs> It just it's just there, and it'll it'll allow you at some point. It'll allow you international. Sure enough, after thirty days of having the phone, that message that said that my international plan had been suspended is gone. And like the thirty second day after and you activated it, we went to Google. yes, yeah, so we so left. Like we went to perfect. Canada. We went to Greenland. Google Fi were great, no problems. International data was flawless. It was wonderful again to just be able to show up in a country and your phone works great and the data works great and you can. You know, do yeah. all the Googling and, and downloading and whatever you want to do. So anyway, so now back in the United States and now we uh, fast forward, super excited. I've got my Google Fi. Everything's working great, but we're leaving again. Right. So and, and when you watch this video, we're actually on our ship uh, almost in, in Australia. So I'm anticipating that it, uh, we're going to leave the country. It's. I, we're hearing rumors that it's 90 days or less. Not that, six months anymore, not six 90 months days if they kill you to international data. But by that time, I'll have been able to use it in uh, Tahiti, in New Lago Zealand, Lago, New in Zealand, Lago, Lago, yeah, and yeah. the cruise will get to, to Sydney, Australia. And while we're in Australia, I'll start shopping for, for a new plan. Probably FlexiRoam. My FlexiRoam didn't work on my other phone because I had a physical SIM card. It was giving me all kinds of problems. And they wanted Nissan, and it was just—it was a nightmare. Yeah, new, new phone. Uh, we'll sign up with FlexiRoam, and who knows? I'll get to Australia and start searching for some uh, a, a, maybe a local SIM card because that's my—that's how I. I yeah, if you, if you watch our other video, you know we're very split on how to do our data plans in other countries. I want convenience over price. He wants price over convenience. I just want to land. My phone works. That's FlexiRoam. I think we pay, we pay uh, about 6 or $7 a gig, basically, for FlexiRoam. Maybe the Australia price is cheaper. He, on the other hand, wants to get an unlimited plan for $20, but then he want, he has to mess around with the SIM card. Well, and so, I, don't, I don't really anyway, know. We'll see what happens in Australia. I don't know what we could do in Australia. I did a little bit of research on that. If yeah. you know what I could do. do. Google Fi, I love you for the next... I don't know, 20 days, and then and then we'll see what happens. You'll break up with me again, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, by the way, if you do want to use Google Fi, Steve does have a referral code. We'll, yeah, put, we'll put it uh, along the screen and down the description. Grab his referral code. When you get five bucks off, or he gets five bucks off, or we all get something if you use his referral code. So that helps, right? It does. All right. Yeah. Talk to you next time from Australia. <laughs>